Hey, this is David Lambert, and you're watching Shine On Media. So, brand new show, meeting these characters for the first time. What are the essential things we need to know about Brandon? Uh, Brandon, he's um, he's the oldest in the family, in the foster family, he, and he's also the biological son of one of the mothers, Steph, who is played by Terry Polo. Um, and he's a talented musician. He's been playing piano for you know most of his life, and he's very, very skilled. Um, I'm also a pianist in my personal life, so it was kind of a cool thing to sort of integrate into this show um, and uh, be able to you know relate that much more with my character. Um, but yeah, no, Brandon, he's he's a really good guy, and he and he he, uh, he tends to juggle a lot. He tends to have a lot on his plate, and he tends to sort of feel those pressures and have to come through for not only his family members, but you know. Um, his his dad, who's sort of out of the picture in terms of you know he's not in the house, but he's trying to make his way back into the picture for Brandon's sake, and uh, you know Brandon has to end up juggling a lot because of that and because of other issues that sort of come up for him. But he's a fun character. He's he's very nice. You know he's got such a big heart that it's hard for him to tell anyone no. You know. Um, so it's, it's it's a fun character, and and I actually have a lot in common with them, you know. So it's not a stretch. So that makes it e does that make it easier to play? Yeah, I mean it does in a sense, you know. I mean, uh, it's always it's always more fun, I suppose, to to explore and play such a crazy character. But when you have to reel it in and, and just be subtle and, and sort of almost be yourself, but just an extension of yourself, it's that's when it's really interesting because you end up learning about the character, but you end up learning about yourself, and you know, they go hand in hand, I suppose. Based on the first episode, it kind of seems like Brandon's basically the golden perfect child. Is yes. that going to continue, or are we going to see him with some struggles as well? Yeah, you know that's that's like a that's a really interesting thing with Brandon um, that he comes off that way, and then I think he's presented that way. But um, he there he's much more complicated than that. I think um, he realizes he comes off as the golden boy and, and whatnot, but he also. Um, you know, doesn't necessarily care about his image. I think, you know, I think he, he feels a lot of pressures and he comes through for a lot of people, but it's not for himself, it's not for his sake, it's always for other people's sake. Um, you know, he's a very humble person, and I think he's, he's, almost, he's willing to go through anything for his family especially. And I think his loyalty and his strength um, is, is some of the more interesting things about Brandon, and it's, it's gonna be things that will take some time to sort of be introduced um, but I think he, he definitely has more to him than just the golden boy, for sure. In the first episode, we see him really bond with Callie. Yes. How is his relationship with the other siblings in the family? Brandon, I mean, he's he's the big brother, and he very much feels that way, and, and takes pride in, in being responsible for his family and looking out for them. Um, and, you know, um, Steph is always in his ear about making sure he's on top of things and whatnot, so he, he, he is very used to that. Um, but he has a good, he has a great relationship with, with Jesus and Mariana, his two younger siblings. Um, very protective of him, you know, a, a good brother. He's just a good brother. <laughs> Can you tease any of what's coming up as far as like on the, on the storyline for, for Rannon? Right, well, you know, there, there is, there are some um, interesting elements between uh, Callie and Brandon, I suppose. Uh, so that'll, you know, take shape. Um, but you know, there's really, honestly, so many things all over the place. You know, it's such an ensemble show, and, and uh, every week you're going to be seeing uh, different characters going through different things. You know, so it will be an interesting ride. But um, yeah, I, I will say there's always going to be new characters coming in. Uh, there's go always going to be lessons learned and mistakes made, uh, very similar to any other family. Um, and I think that's what's going to keep it interesting. That poor girl has been through so much. It's not where you come from. Promise me that we'll be somewhere safe. It's where you belong. The world premiere of The Fosters, Monday, June 3rd, only on ABC Family.